Hi there, I'm Hendrik and it's great to see you back in front of the screens over there. Today I want to take a couple of minutes and talk about the main differences of the Osprey Axos 48 over here and the Osprey Levity 45 over there. If you are curious about the Osprey Levity in more detail, please hit the button up in the corner and you can see my detailed review video about that backpack and what I like and don't like about it. In this video, I just want to concentrate on the key differences of this pack and that pack and also a little bit about the Aya, which is the female model of the Osprey Axis. They have all the same functions and details, except that the Aya is designed for a female body. So shoulder straps, hip belt and back length are different than for the Axis. So as I posted on Twitter about the Axis and the Aya, something that people commented about that they were curious about is has the Axis and the Aya hip belt pockets like the old Axis? The answer is no. Osprey took away the hip belt pockets. So if you're a big fan of hip belt pockets, I am not, so I, I don't cry about having no hip belt pockets. But if you do, then maybe um, you need to look how you could attach hip belt pockets over here or look for another pack that has hip belt pockets. But also the Debatee doesn't have hip belt pockets, so that's just one thing. Another thing that immediately becomes apparent if I look at these three backpacks is that they all three share this fin design over here down. So as with the Levity, the new Exos and Aya, they have these corners over here and they are part of the suspension frame. So they help carry the load. But in use, I found these pockets over here quite difficult to fill with gear. So it's something that you really need to remember that you put your bivy bag or a pair of socks or a puffy jacket, put the gear down there in these corners so that you're not later on struggling when you're already on the top and you still got your puffy jacket or socks or your bivy bag that you need to put away and then you realize, oh, okay, down here it's empty and up here I have no space anymore. Now, one of the main differences between these two packs is not only the volume size, it is the weight. The Levity over here is several hundred grams lighter than the Axis over here. And if you're looking to save weight, then the Levity is your go-to pack. So of course, the weight savings in this pack come from somewhere. And a lot of that comes probably from the different materials used. So the Axis over here, as well as the Aya, the female model, use a very durable 100D nylon. That's a material that I wouldn't say bomb proof, is very durable and should give you many, many years of use with your pack. The Levity on the other hand over here, it's made of a 30D sil nylon, so a silicon impregnated nylon. If you're into ultralight backpacking, sil nylon is something that you're probably heard quite a lot. It's used a lot in tents. Um, and that makes this a lot lighter and of course also a little bit less durable. If we now take a quick look at the back panel of both pack packs, we see that both have the Osprey airspeed suspension system. That means both packs have a mesh back panel that's stretched over the frame that's on the inside of the pack and that creates this airspace between the main compartment of the backpack and the wearer. As you can see, the mesh on the Levity is a lot smaller, so a lot tighter than the one on the Axis. That's quite big, so there should be a lot of airflow coming through and helping you to evaporate sweat that builds up on your back and also keep you cooler. When we're already at the back of the backpack, it's also worth to look at the differences in shoulder straps. So if we have both over here side by side, you already can see that the Axis has a lot more cushioning than the Levity over here. Something to keep in mind with this, however, is that you can carry a couple more kilograms with the Axis than with the Levity. Not only because it has a couple of liters more volume, but also because it is built more durable and has a better load transfer, which allows you to carry a little bit more in the Axis than in the Levity. Also over here we see that the hip belts are quite similar. What I see right away over here is, is that the Axis hip belt is a lot longer, hence a little bit bigger than the one on the Levity over here. So if you want a very big hip belt that goes very wide 
over your hips, then probably the access is the pack to take. Also, as you can see, both packs have a top lid. Now the top lid on the access is a floating lid, which means you can remove it. So if you feel you don't need a lid, then you just take it off and leave it at home. What is really ingenious of Osprey is that they have included a flap inside of the pack, which you can use to put over the drawstring closure. That means if you're not using the lid, you can put this flap on top and then rain cannot go through the drawstring closure on top and make your gear wet. Another difference between these two packs is the pockets. So both packs have a front pocket over here and two stretchy side pockets. Um, these are both accessible from the top and from the side. And what's different between these two packs is that this is of these a little bit more durable ripstop nylon, so it's not stretchy. And over here, Osprey has used a combination of, of a nylon weave material and a mesh. So this makes these pockets a bit more stretchy, which means you can stuff more gear in and it's easier to get stuff in and out. So far, it has looked that the packs are quite similar, uh, share the same construction and a lot of the same features. So now let's look at the things that the Axis has and that the Levity doesn't have. So the Axis has over here a, a sleeping pad attachment, straps over here. It has over here a possibility to attach an ice axe or two or tracking poles. On the other side, it has the stow on the go tracking pole feature where you can just, while you're walking, put your tracking poles through the loop at the side and then affix it with a drawstring on your shoulder strap and then they stay over here. That way you can store your tracking poles on the go, not need to take your pack off to put them somewhere else like over here. It's a useful feature if you're having a piece of trail where you need to scramble or climb up and you need to have your hands free and you just want to quickly get your tracking poles out of the way and that is what that is for. If you look closely you also can see that these straps on the Levity are almost half the size of that that they are on the Axis. So that's of course also somewhere where Osprey has saved weight on this pack. And finally a look at the price. So this is maybe a big shock to some but the Osprey Levity is 90 euros more expensive than the Axis over here. So the Axis 48 over here retails in Europe for around 170 euros. Whereas the Osprey Levity 45 over here retails in Europe for around 260 euros. So it's quite a big premium on the weight that you're saving between these two packs. All right, that was my short video about the differences between the Axis and EA and the Lumity from Osprey. If you've got any questions about these backpacks, please hit me up in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down there and also click the bell next to it. That way you won't miss any videos in the future. And I intend to review the access as detailed as I have done with the Levity in the past. So if you're curious about this backpack and want to learn more about it before you buy one, please subscribe and then you will see if it's worth your money or if the Levity is the pack you should get. Thanks for watching and I now take the axis out for a little hike. It's quite nice winter weather and it's a good time to collect the first experiences with this pack outside. <laughs>